Very personal question. Do you prefer me shredded or when I'm bulking? Um, I probably prefer you when you're bulking. Really? Right. So you gained pretty much 10 kilograms since last time. Yes. So, drum roll, big quiz question. How much of it is bu- How much of it is fat and how much of it is lean? I'm gonna say 8.5 kilos is fat. What's going on YouTube, it's Jason, and welcome to day number 44 and day number 22 of my sugar experiment. So yesterday was the last day of my bulk. Today is the first day of my shred. I'm beginning a series called Razor Sharp as I look to get the leanest I have ever been for my bodybuilding competition. And so later on, I have a DEXA scan booked to show how much muscle I've gained over the last six months and also how much fat I've gained so I can get a more accurate idea. What I wanna do now is weigh myself, measure my waist and do a quick physique update so we can see what we're looking like and what's happened over the last six months. So Monday morning weighing is 87.7. So 1.3 kilos up from last Monday. But the big but is this weekend has been heavy in terms of calories, carbs and salt. And so I'm leaving room for 0.8 to a kilo of water weight and about 0.3 of a gain, which is about in line with my bulk. Let's check my waist. So literally 32 on the nose, which is, to be honest, the limit of where I wanted to be at the start of my bulk. Let's do a quick flex physique update. So my abs are hanging on for dear life. They're pretty much faded. This is definitely the upper limit of where I'd be comfortable with body fat wise. I hopefully have gained some muscle. I've definitely gained some fat, but you've got to do that on a bulk in return for some gains. Let's see what this DEXA scan says. In terms of body fat, this is definitely the highest I've been for like seven or eight years. I think 2016, 2017, somewhere there, I allowed my body fat to get up to like 16%. But for me, that's super high. I normally bulk till about 13-ish percent definitely under 14 and then shred back down to like 10. So yeah, I really pushed the needle in terms of body fat as an investment to see how much lean tissue I can gain. And so hopefully that's paid off. So DEXA scan guesstimates, because DEXA scans are typically three to 5% higher than calipers, I reckon I'll be somewhere around 19%, maybe just under, maybe just a little bit over. Bay, personal question, do you prefer me shredded or when I'm bulking? Um, I probably prefer you when you're bulking. Really? Yeah, I don't like, the shredded look is nice, but I like it for a temporary time and then I prefer most of the year to bulking. Right, so... I'd like you to fill out a bit, it's nice. That, that's, that's really awkward because I actually love being shredded. Yeah, but you just, you can go a bit skinny when you're shredded, it's not that's it. Maybe we'll edit this bit out. No, but if you're, if you're going on stage, it's different. Do you know what, on that, one thing I find very strange about those that consume content is that they will slam the influencers for being too lean. They're representing an unrealistic body image. They're giving people body image issues. They're too lean. But you guys watching these videos literally engage two, three, four times as much when someone is shredded versus when someone is bulked. And so, what does that communicate to the influencer? Well, it communicates to them that if I stay shredded, I'm gonna be at the top of the algorithm, I wanna get all the sponsorship. What do you think they're gonna do? They're gonna stay shredded. When I was in third space and I was preparing for my competition, people that didn't know me were literally like, man, you look insane. What's your secret? What do you do? I was making friends all over the shop. Sauna, shower, like I was diced. The second you start bulking, people just walk past you. Like, you know It's very different. So. This is a very interesting perspective and yeah, interesting to hear that you prefer me bulked. I'm not sure I'll take your opinion on board, but anyways, let's see what this Dexter says. I'm hoping, I mean, I'll, 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 I would bite your hand off for a kilo of lean last game because it's just, I know how slow it is. Yes, yeah, yeah. so we, so, we would say maybe 1% a month of your body weight. Yeah, and I've done it. So, so done well, yeah, yeah, I've risked a lot. <laughs> so, all right.
So what have you been doing in those so, five months? So yeah, resistance training, um, obviously. Five, <laughs> yeah, five days a week. Um, I've been still keeping in cardio, so I've still been doing uh, hit once a week and then like lower steady state three times a week. Mm -hmm. Normally, I do like a hundred caloric surplus, but now I've I've done the old school five four to five hundred because this will communicate to me essentially are my bulking days done. Right. So you gained pretty much ten kilograms since last time. Yes. So drum roll. Quiz question. How much of it is how much of it is fat and how much of it is lean? I'm going to say eight point five kilos is fat. Okay, you've done better than that. Not bad. It's pretty much half and half. Whoa. Hmm. So you've gained about five, just under five kilos of lean. Wow. And just over five kilos of fat. Whoa. Wow. So your bulking days were not over. Jeez. Would any of that be water? Lean mass does include body water. So, right. you know, we can never really look at a lean mass and say that's all skeletal muscle. Sure, because where, where I was thinking was post-show, my carbohydrate intake was pathetic. Right. And so just ramp, I mean- Was that post-show when you last came? Yeah, so right. I, I, at the time I, I tapered up slightly. I think I was on like 200 grams of carbs. I'm now on 450. Right. That's going to bring water. Yes, itself. it will. It will. Carbs yes. and all yes. that. So, yeah. so some of that lean gains still, water in there, oh, but because lean does contain water. But anyway, phenomenal. Yeah. You're lean for height. Uh, you were at the 60th percentile, and now you're at 21.1. You're now in the 80th. Wow. So we call that amateur bodybuilder, anecdotally. Well, there we are. Right. There you go. There we are. So you're gram for gram even, pretty much, across the body. So that's a very... Interesting. You know, okay. a very uh, yeah, aesthetic, it's right? Incorrect. We expect yeah, yeah. You know, bodybuilders, people who work out, to have a very aesthetic uh, Balance. left to right. Your legs, sorry, are 13 and a half. So 13 and a half. Well, I'll put you up here. So you have not been skipping leg day. <laughs> All right. I was, you know, I've invested a lot. I've been eating a lot. I was expecting to be somewhere in and around 18, 19, about 5% up from last time. Mm -hmm. What are the numbers in terms of my body fat? So your body fat percentage now is 18.1 without the head. Yeah, okay. expected, yeah, fine. So and four, uh, four, so last time was very low, 13.4. Yeah. 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 So about okay. five like yeah. percentage yeah. points. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And what is my lean, that F of my lean mass index? What's that? Uh, what's so that's this one here, oh. okay? So you, yeah, one. so in the 80th percent, 21.1. Okay. 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 So muscle for height and fat for height. And if I remember, 25 and over, is questionable for a natural. So yeah, very, very <laughs> questionable. Yeah. Uh, so okay. hopefully I should be able to step on stage a bit heavier this time. And so in terms of food, my DEXA scan had to be fasted, so I haven't eaten any food so far. So I've got the granola with uh, honey, obviously fruit and bits and bobs and that. I've also got a green tea, but I've got some crosstown donuts, two vanilla bean donuts, I've already got my way in there. So. In total, this should be somewhere around 70 to 80 grams of sugar. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love Crosstown Donuts. I've already gone into it. These donuts, how do they compare to Donatella? Mm, I'm not sure, but in terms of a vanilla bean donut, absolutely destroys Krispy Kremes. These are Phenomenal. Mm. Elite. So Dexa scan done, coffee and donuts done. The challenge will now be to maintain a calorie deficit while finishing up the rest of my sugar experiment. I have nine days left. So what I want to show you guys is that calories are king when it comes to fat loss and then macros are important. So even with my sugar high, like 120 grams total sugar, 60 grams added sugar, if I'm in a calorie deficit, I'm confident that I will still lose fat week to week. So I came home and it was jollof, chicken breast, spinach, kale and shittot. Then I had eggs and sourdough, only three eggs as I'm cutting. Again, we are reducing our calories gradually. Then I had rice, sea bass, romaine lettuce and harissa sauce. And then I finished the day with fruit. So, results, what are my thoughts? I've had a long time to process this. I was gonna react initially in the coffee shop, but I thought I'd wait and I'd go away and I'd reflect and come out with a rational answer as to how I've gained almost five kilos of lean body mass in five months. I thought it was six months, it's actually five months. And after a long, hard thought, I actually think that a kilo was water, 
because of the carbs and salt over the weekend. Carbs attracts water. And at least a kilo would have been the difference between me being depleted just after my show and then doubling my carbohydrate intake, you know, five months later. I'm gonna say two to two and a half kilos of that is water and carbohydrate influence. But that still leaves at least one and a half to two kilos of lean body mass. I am absolutely over the moon with that because as I said, I would have bit your hand off for a kilo. This is me deep into my training journey, like 18 years. That being said, I was talking to Rebecca, I haven't bulked properly for like seven years. I've been staying lean for a long time, not really pushing my calories up because I don't want to get my body fat too high. And maybe, maybe that's even hindered me a bit. So there is clearly still potential in there, which is exciting. I also wonder being that lean, did I lose muscle very close to the show? A lot of bodybuilders say that when you get to like single digit, you are losing some muscle, not loads of muscle, but some muscle. And I'm wondering whether maybe within that I've gained some back whatever either way there's been some lean body mass gain another interesting thing is the distribution of muscle so when i look at the results from october versus now i was told in october that my legs were a lot more muscular than my upper body and so i had to work on my arms and my trunk which is like my neck down to my waist so like chest back abs that sort of thing and pretty much that's where I gained most of the muscle. If you remember, my training split was heavily upper body focused. I do like one leg day per week and then four upper body days. And this was to make sure that we balance things out. A lot of people that are inexperienced will train all their muscle groups once. But as I kept on saying to you guys, you should actually focus more on your weaker points, train them more frequently. The stuff that responds or you can take for granted, you can minimize those and do either half a session or just one session a week. And it's more than enough. So yeah, arms are bigger and my trunk is bigger. My trunk in terms of lean body mass is up by almost 3000 grams, like three kilograms I've gained between here and here. That'll probably be why my dumbbell bench press went through the roof, which is great. So yeah, I am really, really happy with that. So in terms of calories, scores on the doors, total calories were 2,930. Because I'm shredding, I'm reducing my calories slightly to between 2,800 and 2,900 per day. In terms of my macro breakdown, that's protein at 139 grams, carbohydrates at 422 grams, fiber at 20 grams, sugar 123 grams, of which added sugar 85 grams, fat 84 grams, and saturated fat 26 grams. So that's everything guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. Don't forget to like it if you did. Subscribe to my channel to follow me on this journey and I'll see you again tomorrow.